fat. Come on over here, girl, because everybody's talking for 10 minutes before you even get in the picture Hi. today. And I'm like, where's Trisha? I've been watching you all day. <laughs> Thank Trisha, you're what's here. Isn't that fun? Yeah. So th this girl sold millions and millions of records. Y'all know she's married to Garth Brooks. She's got three beautiful girls. She's a best-selling cookbook author. And she's got now her sixth season of your show on the Food Network, right. which is Trisha's Country Kitchen. You're from Georgia. I'm from Georgia. I got two sisters in Atlanta. Really? Yes, we, we love Georgia. We love the Southern cooking. Yeah. And this young lady is such a pro in the kitchen that she, of course, has her own cooking show now. And this is the cookware that you use at home and that you wanted to bring to QVC. And I know you've been working on this big set for a long time. Yeah, I actually I actually approached Green Pan several years ago when mm -hmm. I tried one of their pans and I said, I love this pan. Yeah, yeah. And they said, let's do something together. So I, I do use them all the time and I love them. I'm, I am a little Georgia girl and everything is really simple in my kitchen. I, my, I learned that from my mama, so I want it to be easy to use. I want it to be affordable. I want it to be easy to clean. I want it to right. buy the dishwasher. Right, you know, I love just, it. Just really easy. So. Trisha's Southern Kitchen, let me correct myself. Uh, what's your favorite color? Well, this is the, I just painted a wall in my kitchen this color, but yeah. I did a complimentary color that's kind of a light color of this. So actually these two colors go, these two colors are kind of my favorite right now. So this one's the turquoise. Now this one right here is eggplant, and I know that's our most limited. It's been really popular. And I love these, they're almost like watercolor colors. They're, they're like a, a different, type of color of all of these names that we often see. The green one is your very super favorite Granny Smith apple green, so you can expect that color when you get it. This blue one is a nice bright blue. My mom has a blue and yellow kitchen, and this would look so perfect in there, but that's that cobalt that you all like to use as a pop in the kitchen. We have your black for the traditionalists, and then down here, this has been very popular today. Red is a very popular kitchen color, but let me tell you, this is a blend of red and cinnamon. We're calling it burgundy red, so that is gonna really really look fantastic whether you've got a little bit of one or the other so right. here's what you're getting so we've got all the fry pans stacked up but I want to show you what else and if you need to babysit something over there yeah, I'm gonna go just ahead. babysit a little bit right. while you're working so first of all we're calling this a Dutch oven but it's a six quart so really you could technically call this a stock pot because it's a little short and squattier than a tall stock pot but it's not your typical four quart Dutch oven that you get in a big cooking set so good capacity there you're also getting this piece which is a four quart covered saute so this is your chicken fryer this is your everyday pan whatever you want to call it then we've got two great saucepans this is a three quart and it comes with a vegetable steamer insert right here that you can see so you can either have something steaming in here or you can have some flavor infusion going on with that or use it without it all together and have a nice family size meal or side dish if you've downsized your family then down here we have your one quart and that's great for a great vegetable side dish or if you're making a whole lot of gravy or something like that you can warm it up or something like a sauce over here two very popular sized fry pans we've got a seven inch and we've also got the 11 inch and again a big one bigger than what you normally get often you'll see an 8 and a 10 so we've made this one a little bigger and we made this one a little smaller because that's what you guys have requested they all have cook and look lids and the thing that you need to know about these that's really important is that they are ceramic non-stick ceramic non-stick can withstand heat up to 800 degrees without breaking down you're not going to ever be able to scratch this off if you really scrape with the metal utensil you might get a scratch mark in it but that doesn't mean any of the non-stick is coming off the other thing that's really important is chemical free this is PTFE PFOA free that means if you've got pets if you've got parrots if you've got kids and grandkids or you just want a healthy environment and you cook in high heat sometimes you don't have to worry about anything leaching out into the air unbeknownst to you and making people and pets get sick this is the type of cookware you want in a happy healthy home all right having said all that I know you've been twirling some eggs around all day. <laughs> I, have, I think but people, that is the best demo. It is. I think people don't know how hot their stovetop gets yeah. and how hot their pans get. Mm -hmm. And regular nonstick breaks down at, at 500 degrees, and your pans right. are going to get that hot. Yeah. And this ceramic nonstick is amazing. What Green Pan did that was awesome is they pioneered this technology. So they they were the ones who figured out how to do it and patented it, and they know what they're doing. Yeah, I'm, I'm fascinated by the egg. I'm also fascinated by the fact that you can put this in the oven. So I'm going to get out okay. something that that the, your wonderful team made earlier. So, Trisha, let me ask you, this is ceramic nonstick. So we sell a lot of nonstick cookware here. So how is this different? 
Um, what's different about it? Because there's a lot of ladies out there who are thinking, well, it looks really good and nothing's sticking to it, but what does that mean, ceramic nonstick? Well, ceramic is just the new material. It's yeah. the new way, you know, when we bought nonstick back in the day, there, we only had one choice mm -hmm. and it worked fine, but over right. time, it really does break down. That means mm -hmm. that it's really not doing the job anymore. If you find, like me, I found myself using more spray, more mm -hmm. butter, more oil, because it really wasn't nonstick anymore because mm -hmm. it was getting little nicks in it. Right. This won't do that. Okay, and, awesome. And like you said, you're not going to be, um, it's going to be at a high heat without emitting anything into your food or into the air. It also goes right in the dishwasher, although unless you really are in a hurry, you probably will never have to do that because yeah, food I'm gonna just show slides you. right yeah, this out. Is, this is a frittata that we made earlier mm -hmm. and it's going to slide right out of the pan and everything everything will slide out of the pan this easy. Yeah. And then you just take a wet rag and you just wipe it out and it's clean. I love Green Pan. We had this brand or a similar brand to this years ago. We had like one piece of it and it sold out. Then we had another one piece of it and it sold out. I love that you brought us a whole complete set. And whether or not you're looking to upgrade or add to your current cookware set, I know my mom's home saying, Carolyn, I really like that, but there's there's so many pieces. I don't know if I need that many pots and pans. Well, mom and all the other Grammys that are watching, get this set, keep a piece or two. You can give the other pieces to your daughter or you can give them as a wedding gift. That's I know a there's idea. a lot of weddings on the horizon. Or if you want to give the whole kit and caboodle to a new bride, that would be That's fabulous. That's great. I do that as gifts and I give it to my, my girls. Two of them are in college. They have. Um, they have apartments, mm -hmm. and so I gave them these for Christmas, and yeah. they love them. Yeah. Um, they're affordable. My first pan that I bought that was expensive, like a big stock pot, cost more than that whole set. And wow. I and this is what I use. Now, I'm, I'm demonstrating cheese here because cheese is one of those things that you might say, well, it's easy to wipe out an egg pan because there's right. not really anything in the bottom of it, but right. cheese is a different story. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you a really cool, uh, this is an inside-out uh, grilled cheese sandwich. So he, I know Dan Hughes went a little crazy when he found out there was bacon on the inside <laughs> and cheese on the outside of your yeah, grilled cheese sandwich. he was a happy camper. <laughs> I'm gonna flip that over, and right now, m most of the time, you're like, "Oh, that pan is gonna be a nightmare." Yeah, right. Right. If you if you can clean it at all, you're thinking you're gonna be soaking that pan mm -hmm. in the, the in overnight your, soak. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. But this, I'm gonna let it sit for a minute because you're not gonna believe it. So while we're looking at that, I just want y'all to know these are very comfortable handles to hold on to that don't get hot unless you put them in the oven. These can go in the oven to 350. Um, this. Uh, Inside, we've been talking a lot about the inside and the ceramic nonstick, and you, I mean, you can you can see your, your handle just slide right off of it too, and that's never going to wear off or come off. The outside is also beautiful, and I just want to talk about how you've done such a nice job. It's a little bit textured, but that's not going to get all scratched right. the up either. The outside is also ceramic nonstick, so you're so not going to have like stuff that looks nasty on the bottom of the pans right. after you use right. them. Right, exactly. And mm -hmm. when you're done cooking with it, really just rinse it off, wipe it off, wipe yeah. it off, and it's good to go. Right. And and put it in the dishwasher if you want. Sometimes with a big pan like. Like that, I want to save my space in my dishwasher, yeah. so mm -hmm. I'll just rinse it out. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you this. I'm okay. going to put this out on a plate and All show right. you how easy this is to clean up. Don't you love she cooks the whole time she's here? <laughs> I told her back in the green room. I'm so impressed with that because she's not just standing here talking about it stuff. Well, she's actually doing it. And any cheese that's left just slides right out of the pan. That looks scrumptious. My my producer is going to leave his uh, per perch and come right down yeah, here. Yeah, I that. do love me some cheese. Now I'm going to show you how easy this is to wipe out. Okay. Again, a wet rag, and wow. that was that was cooked cheese. Wow. Wow. And this is the pan that has the grill marks, but you don't have to cook anything in it that has to be grilled. You can just, like I make eggs in this or bacon in this, mm -hmm. but I do have a steak over here that I was going to show you. Okay. So again, while you're getting the steak ready, everybody come back over here. We're getting busy on the lines. I just want you to see what you're getting. This is a big set. And by the way, it would cost you about $41 more to get this if you could find it at retail. This color is exclusive. This one right here, the eggplant purple, and also this beautiful green one. I know we did a little uh, kind of a little pose here, but I just got to show you the bottoms of these pans. Aren't these gorgeous? These two colors are hot off the presses. These are the newest colors for kitchen decor, and we have them here exclusive to QVC. We have the other colors also popular and available: the blue, which is a cobalt, the black, and that beautiful burgundy red with just red with just a tinge of that wine color. So very very pretty. And then up here, if you like a vintage kitchen or just want to have a lot of fun. We've got that turquoise. That's that 1950s aqua diner color, which I really, really love. And again, six quarts up here, four quarts right here, three quarts here, one quart there. There's the sizes that everybody needs for their family, whether it's a big crowd or you're cooking for one. And then we have, again, small skillet, seven inches, and big skillet, 11. So we've covered everybody's bases, and this is just the latest greatest nonstick. I just flipped this steak. Now you're going to hook it, cook at a higher heat when you're searing uh, meat. So Kay. I'm searing this steak and I've turned it over and I want to put this in the oven because I'm going to melt 
I'm gonna put some uh, sauce, but also melt a little cheese on top mm, of this. And yum. the cool thing about this set also is that that lid on that big four quart saute pan mm -hmm. will also fit on this skillet. Yeah, so it's a swing mm -hmm. lid. It's a swing it's, lid. It's gonna go, go and fit on both pieces, and I'm which gonna is stick great. this in the oven at 350 and let that cheese Fantastic. melt. Fantastic. So again, it can go in the oven, no problem. Go in the dishwasher, no problem. No chemicals coming out into the air. If you're still using older cookware, and maybe it still looks new, if it hasn't been produced in the last few years, chances are that nonstick is the type that will break down. And again, as Tricia said, you don't realize how hot your burners are getting when you're cooking. And unbeknownst to you, there's stuff coming out into the air. Those bad chemicals that you're breathing in or your pets are breathing in. Uh, I had a lady one time tell me her parrot passed away from being in the kitchen from her cookware. Oh my goodness. Because she was using the kind that still had chemicals in it. So you don't want a tragedy to happen. And you also want cookware that performs without a lot of work from you. True, and, and my, my husband does the dishes a lot, but when he cooks in the kitchen, he uses every dish in the kitchen. Could we just repeat that for <laughs> one second? To all the husbands listening, her husband, who is Garth Brooks, does what? He cooks in the kitchen and, and he cleans. And he does the he dishes. He does the dishes. He does do the dishes. I love hearing he that. He does. But he uses every pan, so at least if he's using every pan, they're easy to clean. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Men do that, don't they? <laughs> they it's do. It's like the biggest mess when they're done. <laughs> I mean, that's okay. I'm just glad somebody else is cooking for a change. <laughs> All right, so now what? You're doing some chili? Now, yeah, I've okay. got some. This is actually Sloppy Joe's, and this just shows okay. the capacity. I mean, and I know that if you're, if like, I'll make a lot ahead and I'll freeze it for mm -hmm. later because I, I, if I'm going to cook it, I just want to cook it yeah. and then I'll freeze it for different. Okay. This is really cool. You talked about this little pan here. Yeah. This is some chocolate ganache that we've got made for a Boston cream pie here. Mm. And it has a really cool um, pour, pour rim. So mm. the whole okay. rim you can pour. So if you're right-handed or left-handed, you don't have to you know, go on a different side. Oh, I like and that. And chocolate is one of those things that tends to stick to the pan. It oh, tends yeah. to be really messy to clean up. Mm -hmm. And um, But you're going to see that that is, is that not the problem Is that homemade Boston here. cream pie? It is homemade Boston oh, cream pie with a little chocolate Lord, ganache. That looks May delicious. or may not be in my new cookbook, I'm just saying. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to show you this wipeout. So there's okay. chocolate in there, and already you can see it's not even sticking yeah. to the bottom of the pan. Are we looking at this? I mean, what would that be in the cookware you're using? A right. huge mess. Yeah, and so really, it's just, with, with these green pans, it's just a wipeout. All right, can, you can, can do we, a better job than me. Can but. we just show the bottom of that pan? Look, now this was on a super high hot burner. No black marks. Look at that beautiful exterior. And I, I want to show everybody this color because it's kind of hard to see these colors stacked up in these skillets. Look at that gorgeous burgundy red. Beautiful. See what I'm saying? It's going to match with your gloss cinnamon. It's going to match with your red in your kitchen. So it's like the perfect sort of tweener color between those two. Yeah, it kind of goes like with that. everything. Mm -hmm. I'll keep cleaning. But okay. I, I, that's my favorite thing. I do this that's all gorgeous. the time. because, And, and I, you know, like I said, I like anything that has got to be able to go in the dishwasher. It's got to be able to mm -hmm. go in the oven. Mm -hmm. It's just really versatile. You want to say hey to a fan? Yeah. All right, so here comes Ella from, guess where? Georgia. Hi, Ella. Hey, Ella. Hi, Trish. How are y'all today? I'm good. How are you? Good. This is one of the best things besides your singing you could have come out with, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for saying that. That's awesome. Ella, what do you like about what she brought us today, the green pans? I like it because it's so easy to clean up. It don't stick. You can put it in the oven or you can take it out. Just whatever you fix, put right in there and go to it. And she's a wonderful cook. Yep. I watch her shows every week on TV. Oh, thank you so much, Ella. Well, you know that I'm. I learned from my mama and my grandmama in South Georgia, and basically, it, we did. It's just it's simple. So my, mm -hmm. my life is simple. I want I want what I use in my kitchen to be simple, and I really do use these pans. We use them on the show. Mm -hmm. I use them at home. I, I bought one pan when my the first time I had I got a paycheck, and the the one stock pot cost more than that whole set, and so. I don't. I don't use it. Yeah. I use all these pans. Yeah. Thanks for thanks for Thank liking you, Ella. It. Ella, what's the first thing you're going to make? Are you going to keep the whole set for yourself? I'm going to keep the whole set. My kitchen's red, so I picked the red color. Mm, pretty. And I love it. Awesome. You keep up with the good work. I'm still looking for you back on on singing. Thank you. I'm still singing. Yes, yeah, I'm still tour. doing that, and I'm happy to hear that I Georgia accent. It makes me feel like home. Were raised, so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where are you from? I'm a South Georgia girl. South Georgia. I live Georgia. in uh, Irwin County, Ray, Georgia. Yes, ma'am. I know exactly where that is. I know you do. <laughs> well, Ella, you're darling. Thank you for calling and enjoy Thank your new you. cookware. And, and
And you keep up with that cooking, Trish. I get your recipes all the time. I will. I will. Thank you so much, and Ella. God bless you and Garth and the girls. I love Thank you, you all. Thank you. Oh, I love Ella. I want and to take her home with QBC. me. I love QBC. Thank you, Ella. We love you back. Honey, have a wonderful evening, okay? You too. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Let's look at colors again because I know right. you're going to do that torture mess. Yeah, this is all, all right, so this is QVC's concoction, uh, but we'll talk about it. We've got 700 sets out the door in this presentation. There's a lot of people on the lines. Let me just do this again. I want you to see the bottoms because I think you can see the color a little bit better. This one is our most limited. This one is the eggplant, and it's not a super bright, weird purple. It's a really beautiful kind of a dusty purple that's going to look great, I think, with stainless steel. It's, it's really countertop. lovely. It's really classy. That's really, really pretty. Then we have this beautiful green. These two colors are exclusive to QVC. That is a gorgeous Granny Smith apple or like a pear mm -hmm. color, don't you think? Beautiful. That's really, really nice. Then we have the blue. I'm going to hand these to you because I'm going to me mess up this I whole got display. It. I got you. All right, so I just want everybody to see the bottoms. Look at the blue one. Isn't that gorgeous? That is cobalt blue or like a royal blue. Really, really bright. If you like um, the Polish stoneware or the Temptations blue, that's a perfect match for that. Then here I got you. Uh, you, you got me. You got I'm not gonna make you hold all of them. I got it. I can right. do it. So then we have your black, and black has a beautiful sheen to it as well. But can you see? That's almost got like that matte finish, and that is from that ceramic nonstick that's even on the outside. So most pans have a nice nonstick on the inside. The outside turns into a big mess. <laughs> not on these pans. They're gonna stay looking nice and new. I'll hold that one for you. And then we have one more color, <laughs> which has really picked up some steam in this presentation. We got a little dust from that. On the table but look how pretty that red is and again that is a beautiful burgundy red it's not purple it's not too dark it's not too much of a cinnamon it's kind of like that perfect combination of all the reds that we love in our kitchen so there you go those are the colors and don't forget the beautiful turquoise that's up here at the top all right honey look let me what you've done what have you done i made a whole big mess <laughs> <laughs> They're going to have to completely redo your display after Well, no, we're, done. we're all good. I, this, this was a QVC torture test, and they said put okay. everything in this pan that would be really gross when it, gets, when it gets hot and sticky. So we've got marshmallows in here. We've got chocolate in here. Mm. We've got cheese in here. It's it's a it's a concoction that you know. We're and just and to, normally we're somebody to cook doesn't make you pans. stop and hold all the pans, so you haven't been paying any attention to that whatsoever. No, I haven't. So it could just be Brenda. I have I, I need to turn it up to really high because I want you to see. I want you to see how this really does work. I love it, Richard I'm just in here Florida. For you. Richard, uh, we're making a mess with Trisha Yearwood. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Well, come on in, please meet Trisha. Hi, Richard. Hello, Trisha. You and Garth can come to my home anytime for dinner. Oh, thank you very much. I, I just love this set of pans. I ordered it in the Burgundy. Great. And I can't wait to get them so I can make some homemade corned beef hash. Ooh, oh, that, that sounds, sounds good. That sounds really my good. My husband likes that too. I've given these pans to my friends, my family, my daughters, and my sister um, who's watching at home. Hi, Beth. Um, uh -huh. She loves them, and we I haven't had anybody that hasn't called me after they've gotten them and said they're beautiful they're awesome. and I love how they work. Hey, Richard, uh, how, what looks better about these than what you've currently got going on in your kitchen? Uh, they're new. <laughs> good. <laughs> Check. <laughs> but you know what, Richard? They're going to stay looking new. That's yeah. the cool thing about them. They really are. I've, I've been using them for a long time, for about three years now, and my pans look, still look really brand new. I don't know if you saw that brown sear she got on that steak before she loaded it up with sauce and cheese, put it in the oven. But, you know, you usually don't get that from a pan that doesn't stick at all. You know, that's why so many of the professional chefs use that non non nonstick right so they can get that you know brownness on there but I was amazed at how quickly that browned that right up yeah and searing meat really does seal in the flavor yeah. and the juiciness of the meat and you can do that in these pans that's mm -hmm. that whole thing about 800 degrees I yeah. mean that's that's a high heat pan mm -hmm. all right I'm gonna turn this okay concoction here we go out Richard live on TV and just and first of all even though it's cooked to the pan it's still sliding right off the pan yeah look at that and it actually smells pretty good. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but it just comes right out. And then I'm just going to be, I'm going to scrape as much as I can, but then I'm just wipe this just pan wipe out. Just wipe the rest out. And if you don't want to wipe it out, let it sit, let it cool, and then you can just rinse it out by hand, or you can stick it in your dishwasher. Awesome. Richard, thanks for calling. I hope you enjoy your new pans. Thank you. Take Thank care, you, honey. Richard. Bye-bye. I made a bye mess bye. here, but I'm cleaning up my mess. Richard got the red. And, you know, again, you can see how easily that is coming right Look out of there. That. And we had a lady call earlier. She said, Trisha, can I use my stainless steel utensils on these pans? Yes, you can. It's recommended that you use the plastic or something wooden, but you can use your stainless, your, your steel metal uh, utensils, but you might get some 
they're not even really scratches. They're like little hairline marks you in there. You can get a little a little hairline mark, and so you'll see it, but it still won't make, it, make the pan break it, down. It hasn't cut into the nonstick. Correct. You just might get some marring on there, and that's totally up to you. If you don't care about that, you can use the metal utensils but if you want But they'll last longer to. if you use the nonstick utensils. You mentioned this earlier, this three-quart. I love this because it is a great steam basket. You can also use the basket to strain noodles, yeah, you know, like that. a colander. And then it's just a great three-quart. You can take like that colander, colander out and, just, and, and use it as a little pot. This is a, nice if you're just cooking for couple of people. Let's talk about the technology that went into these a little bit because I know we have some animation to help you out with that. So why are these new and modern and special? Well what Green Pan did was they engineered this technology. They've got the ceramic nonstick. Uh, it, it's a uh, thermalon and it goes on the top, it goes in the pan and also on the outside of the pan. And so it's going to it's going to retain its beauty. It's going to be beautiful. We talked about the fact that um, most traditional nonstick will break down at 500 degrees. Um, green pan will not break down. You get up to 800 degrees, and that's a, and you may get that hot on your stove type, and it's not going to break down. And then there's that even heating. If you've ever cooked a cheeseburger, or you cooked your burgers in a pan, or yeah. sausage patties, mm -hmm. and one's black on the bottom and yep. one's not cooked, it's because your pan's uneven and uneven heating. These pans mm -hmm. don't do that. They're perfect. So if you put this big skillet or this four quart chicken fryer on that itty bitty burner, it's going to do just as well as if you put it on the big burner because it's even heating. It's not going to get hotter. The part that's on the burner, it's going to come all the way up the sides, all the way around the whole uh, area of the bottom of the pan. Everything's going to be evenly heated. And again, these pans, because they have that ceramic nonstick and because they are that wonderful new chemical free nonstick, you can have them at a really high heat, up to 800 degrees, before they might start breaking down a little bit. And again, who, I don't know, is going to be cooking at 800 degrees? Your house might be on fire. Yeah, well, you but shouldn't be, but if, you got, if you're cooking on high on a stovetop, you'll be amazed at yeah. how hot that stovetop is. And, top and can so, get. I mean, we say most pans start breaking down at 500. It's easy for you to get to 500 degrees on your stovetop. So, you want to make sure you're cooking with something that is safe for your family. So, again, uh, we have a fabulous Today special value from Trisha Yearwood. Uh, you are getting four payments of under $35 for this complete big set. Six quart stock pot, or if you want to call it a Dutch oven, I think it's bigger than a Dutch uh, oven. Yeah, it's pretty big. I'm going to turn this quart. steak out really Go quick ahead. while Watch I'm here. This just now. It's we're, we're back and forth. I don't want to miss sorry, your I know. I, I, I keep okay, getting, I'm multitasking over that's here. That's all right. But I want to turn this steak out. That, and just that's watch. what you put in the oven. And, yep, and all that sauce just comes right out, and you, and you just got your little and cheese that baked in the oven. And your wow. pan is basically clean. That's great. Pretty great. That is delicious. Pretty looking. great. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so uh, Trish is going to wipe out that pan. You'll see nothing sticking, and not much labor on your part, my friend. No, not really. I mean, really, I'm just, just I'm just trying not to, the I'm just trying not to burn my hand on the pan. But yeah. I'm I fine. mean, look at that. And again, if it drips over the outside, it doesn't stick to the outside either, which is great. Nope. So that is the big 11 inch fry pan. The little egg right here, which we're going to swirl around, is in the 7 inch fry pan. Uh, we've also got a four quart chicken fryer, everyday pan, deep saute, whatever you want to call it here. Here's your one quart saucepan. Here's your six quart Dutch oven. And then we've got a three quart saucepan that you moved over there that had the veggies in it with that colander slash vegetable steamer insert that comes with it included as part of your set. Uh, Christine's calling from here in Pennsylvania. Hi, Christine. Hi, Hello. Christine. Hi. Good afternoon, ladies. Please meet Trisha Yearwood. How are you? Uh, hi, Trish. You're fantastic. You are beautiful. Oh, you're very sweet. Thank you. Team of <laughs> professionals. <laughs> there you go. No, listen, she looked like that even before she put her makeup on. So, uh, Chris, did you like this? I oh, I'm fantastic. I'm sold. I'm sold. I'm getting a turquoise one. Oh, beautiful. Good. The ceramic outside and inside has me sold. Yes. Yeah, it's and it, the cleanup is so easy. I wish you could feel these, and you will when you get them. But they're just so smooth. They're they're so smooth yeah. on the inside and the outside. Isn't that pretty? And well, we're running a video now. But Christine, aren't you tired of cookware that stays looking pretty on the inside and the outside just looks yuck? Hello, you know, that's us. It gets all <laughs> scratched and black and silver and discolored, and it doesn't even look new for very long. I know. That's well, that's what I hate, well, too. Well, my husband is retired, so when I'm at work, sometimes he likes to make these concoctions with sausage and potatoes and <laughs> eggs, and Lord knows when I come home, I have the pan. So does, he call those gar does he call those garbage potatoes? Oh, I don't know what he calls that's them. That's what mine does. And he has his own way of doing things. <laughs> I cook some country gorgeous. ham in this skillet here. He, if he likes ham, this will be. This is a yeah. big break. My husband loves country ham, so mm, get that get that searing mark on there. I'm glad you. I'm glad you got them. I just painted a, a wall in my kitchen this color, so I'm a, little, I'm a little partial to that color That's a myself. Great color. 
So I love it. Uh, I'm going to go with a pale yellow. So oh, like it beautiful. Oh, that'll be beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, Christine, enjoy these. They are going to be the best cookware set you've ever had. That you can't beat it for Thanks. how they perform, how easy they are to clean up, how they stay looking new, and you really are getting a great value today. Oh, thank you, thank you. Well, thanks for calling. Enjoy. Thanks for calling, Christine. Nice talking to you both. Bye-bye. 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 I'm just cleaning so, out a pan. <laughs> uh, eggplant's popular. That's the one you're working on. Yeah. And I know uh, you've got a pie in the oven, too, that I want to show do. everybody. I because do. you put a pan in a pie, which I love doing that. And often you think that you can't do it unless you've got a big old cast iron skillet. But you can do a pie beautifully in this Yeah, and you can serve pan. it in this beautiful pan. It's gorgeous. Yes, this is really pretty. This is a recipe from a little lady in South Georgia. Oh. Name is Helen Carter. Thank you, Miss Helen, for the recipe. Wow. And you make it in the skillet, and you bake it in the oven, that and it beautiful. comes out beautiful. That is like perfectly browned pie Isn't it crust. Pretty? Yes, I and, love yeah, that. And yeah, you can just go straight to the table that way. Now, I would probably make a bigger one. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. I might make it in this one. <laughs> that would be just for guard. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then the rest of y'all could have another one. <laughs> well, again, uh, we've got a great set here. Let me take you through the colors one more time. And I've messed up the display, so I'm, they're all out of order, but we'll just do it that way. Here is that beautiful turquoise. And again, you're getting a six-quart Dutch oven with a cook-and-look lid. You're getting a uh, four-quart deep saute or chicken fryer, which has a swing lid that's going to fit over here on this 11-inch fry pan as well. You're also getting a seven-inch fry pan. You're getting a three-quart saucepan that has this uh, stainless steamer insert that is, see, it's a colander. So you can use it for either or. You're also getting the one quart saucepan down there. All these have cook and look lids except for the fry pans. Let me mention too what Trish uh, mentioned earlier. These saucepans have this rim. You know, sometimes we see saucepans that have a pour spout and you think, oh, that's neat. I can pour it out of that side. You can pour this out of any area. It's like one giant pour spout around the whole side of this. See how that is? So that is something else that's a really neat feature of these. So there's your turquoise. We also have some of these other great colors up here. So here's the black, and again, this is ceramic nonstick on the outside. As well. so I'm banging with my ring. No scratches. <laughs> that is a beautiful pan. There's your black. We also have it for you in this beautiful blue. That's a nice royal cobalt blue. If you're seeing little dots on there, it's because we got dust on the table. These are beautiful. Here's uh, our most limited choice. That's the eggplant. That's kind of a beautiful dusty purple. And, beautiful. An, and we have an update, Frank. We brought in 1,400 of this color for the day, and there's only 400 left. So if you want that beautiful purple, that is a really hot color for kitchens right now. Here's your green, and that's a spring green, Granny Smith, whatever you want to call it, kind of a citrus color. I think it kind of looks like margarita mix, <laughs> but that is a really good color. And then finally, we have it for you in the burgundy red, and we did a really neat thing with our red. It's not fire engine. It's not totally cinnamon. It's kind of a mix between the two, so if you're not quite sure if you're getting the exact right red for your kitchen, I would definitely go with that one because it really is going to match yeah, it's kind beautifully. Of a brick red. It's really yeah, pretty. It's really pretty. So those are your colors, and the uh, green one and the eggplant are exclusive to QVC. You can't get those anywhere else. And if you were to find this cookware pan set any place else, you would definitely be spending at least forty-one dollars more, and you would not be getting the easy pay, and you would not be hearing about it from Trisha right here. Well, I'm having a good time. I do love these pans. I'm you were talking about this great pour spout. This is a fruit mm -hmm. compote that I make, and it just you know again just pours right out onto. This is pound cake we're putting yeah, it on actually. That looks great. But I mean really even before you have to wipe out the pan you can just see that you don't have a lot of mess and I keep going mm -hmm. back to that but mm -hmm. I cook when I'm home. I mm -hmm. love to cook and I hate to clean up a messy yeah. pan. Right. So it's right. good. All right, so uh, we got a couple minutes left. I want to make sure I let you get in everything that you want to share with everybody. Um, I'm going to make another. Uh, I'm going to make another cheese thing because okay. the cheese thing blows my mind. Okay, so uh, Frank's been letting me know throughout the presentation the eggplant is extremely popular. And which other one? Turquoise. Tur tur turquoise is very popular. That's. The, do you have that turquoise set to I match do. your kitchens? I, I, I do. You have? I do. Yes. Okay. And <laughs> I, have a I, set. I ordered the burgundy red because I've got one of those red kitchens that has some different red in the curtains, and then there's different red in the rug, and there's a different red in the uh, wallpaper border. So this is going to kind of tie them all together. I do have to say this blue is my husband. This is my husband's favorite color. And the blue, is blue and so the pretty. blue might have to go home with me. Oh, that's say. pretty. And that would look beautiful in my mother's kitchen too, with she's got a blue and yellow. So pick a color that works for you. And these are all new modern colors. Look at all those great. 
colors. You can't go wrong with yeah. any one of them. And if you can't decide, of course, if you're given a gift and you don't know what color she's going to be using for that wedding and that new house, get the black. Yeah, it's I especially like them for wedding gifts because yeah. new couples are always, cookware is such a need and it's expensive. Mm -hmm. And you can give them all of this for this low price. I mean, this is a great, this is a great gift. Look how beautiful that is. I mean, seriously, look at this nonstick on the outside. What pan do you have that is still looking this good on the outside as it does on the inside? I mean, it's so hard to find a pan that'll do that. All right, so uh, we just want to give you I'm a chance flip to, this to flip that I'm cheese. Flip it. That grilled cheese with cheese on the outside and the inside. Well, I plus cooked it pretty bacon. hard on the other side. I like that. <laughs> oh, that is good. That is perfectly brown, too. All right, we're almost out of time. Let me show you the colors one more time. Here is the turquoise. That's Trisha's color. That's her kitchen color. We've also got it for you in this beautiful blue. Well, that's Garth's color. And I kind of think those colors look good together. <laughs> they kind of do. Uh-huh. Well, it's a good thing. Uh, we also have it for you in that beautiful eggplant purple. 400 left is all we have in the eggplant. We have it also in the green, which is a beautiful Granny Smith green. And then don't forget we have the black, which is on the bottom now. But we also have this beautiful burgundy red. That's the one I'm going to be getting as well. That's a beautiful wine shade. Stay on the lines. Under $140. Try Green Pan. It's good for your family. It's good for the environment. It performs beautifully. It's great for your pets. It's safe. It's perfectly easy to clean up. And it cooks and performs like a charm. And you're getting everything you need for a complete cookware set. Trisha, thank you so thank much. Thank you. You, you totally are just sold me. a doll. <laughs> thank uh, you. When are you back? Um, I don't know. What, do we know when Trisha's back? Six, six o'clock. At six, six o'clock. All right. We'll look for you then. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank All right, you. honey. Take care. All right, everybody. Uh, Kitchen Unlimited continues. If you need some more information about our